Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. In this video, we'll learn about page settings. First, we'll look at how to add pages in an eDrawMax document. To add pages, navigate to the Insert tab. Under the blank page icon, click on blank page. This will add a new page at the footer. Clicking on the plus sign adds blank pages. You can also right-click on the page and click Add Page. Pressing Alt-Shift-N also adds new pages at the footer. To add duplicate pages, go to the Insert tab. Click on the Duplicate This option. A duplicate page will be added at the bottom. Right-click on the page name and choose Duplicate Page on the context menu. To rename a page, double-click on the page name and type a new name for it. Right-click on the page name and choose Rename Page on the context menu. To delete the current page, right-click on the page name and choose Remove Page. To reorder pages, right-click on the page name and choose Reorder Pages. This will bring up the Reorder Pages window, where you can move pages up and down. To preview all pages, Click the Preview button on the footer and see all the page thumbnails at the same time. You can also preview pages from the Page Preview button under the View tab. Let's see about the Auto Size option. If this option is activated, it automatically resizes the page as you draw. Now we'll look at the page size option. The page size option allows you to choose different page sizes from the dropdown. You can choose any of these page sizes as needed. Let's see about the orientation option. This option allows you to change the page orientation between portrait and landscape. Now we'll look at the unit option. This option allows you to choose the units of measurement from the dropdown. When you choose any unit, the rulers in the workspace will alter accordingly. Let's look at the page number option now. Clicking on this option enables you to change the style and position of page numbers with the preset options as shown. You can also delete page numbers. Now let's look at line jumps. From the Line Jump option under the Page Option tab, select the desired jump direction and style. You can see the change in the connector style. The Line Jump option is available in the Home tab under the Line Styles, as shown. It's also available under the Page Setup option under the Page Layout tab. Now let's look at the Page Setup option. This option allows you to set page preferences from the preset options as shown.
Now let's look at the grid option. This shortcut button allows you to navigate to the menu of grid options, where you can set grid styles and page margin sizes. You can show or hide grid lines by checking or unchecking the grid lines option under the view tab. Fit to drawing. This option helps to fit the page size to what you have drawn on the canvas. Effects. This button helps to change the effects of the diagram on the current theme. Lastly, we'll look at the watermark option. You can choose to add a pre-designed watermark on the canvas from the drop-down list. You can also customize the watermark as shown. You can insert a picture of your choice as a watermark too. You can also type your own text and set the font, size, and color to add as a watermark. There's also a quick button to remove all watermarks. To find more eDrawMax guide videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.